me, we are Glenn and Gracie. And going nuts. Yes, we are. How was that Going rap? nuts. How was that rap? With Glenn and Gracie was terrible. <laughs> Man, I'm becoming a rapper. I'm uh, no, you're a not. Nutty to rap no, a, a you nutty. are not. I'm becoming a nutty rapper. Uh, yeah. no, you're not. <laughs> I'm... What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining. I'm Glenn the Baker. And I'm Gracie the Female Comedian. Oh, God. Here we go again <laughs> with that shit. Ah, uh, come on. Well, actually, you know what? It's not, uh, Can you tell me about the... Um, th there was a, a fake festival that got posted up online. Uh, basically, like a, a Latino comedy festival like Coachella. Oh, yeah. I saw that. But you know what? A three-day three festival all Latino comics in the desert. I think they call it, instead of Coachella, it was called uh, Comedy and Chelas. Comedy and Chelas? Yeah, like beers, right? Oh my gosh. Uh, so three days, three days of Latino comedy, one female. <laughs> oh, it must not be me, because I am not on And her last name is Johnson. <laughs> uh, uh, of, out of all those comics? I'm exaggerating. There's a few in there but oh, uh yeah. you know I, i'm looking at it and there's yeah there's no i don't see any any female comics in there and what's funny to me is that i mean this is a fake festival yeah fake so this is basically somebody's fantasy you know lineup and there's no women on there <laughs> oh my gosh it's crazy isn't that crazy yeah they it's call crazy. they're calling it a comedy and chelas well and i would and I, then somebody I, called it cholo chela uh. <laughs> I'm gonna say, where's all the cholas in this show? Yeah, <laughs> I should have replied. Up. There's, there's a lot of people. I'm gonna put the little flyer up, and I don't even know who uh, made that up, so uh, we could give them credit because it is funny. Well, you know, I try to hit but it. It's, and it's open all, it, but... it's all over the place. It's, uh, -huh. uh, you know, all the comics are are reposting it and stuff. I'm not. I'm not. Why not? Because I'm not on it. <laughs> um, what was that? <laughs> what? I just heard something turn off right now. Oh, really? uh, but anyways, we'll ignore that. Um, Good ears. Let's let's talk about what we did. Uh, this is our boysenberry uh, festival. This is our knots. This is episode. our knots. Yeah, we went to knots on the hottest day of the of last the freaking year so far. Was, uh, it, was it in a hundred and something? It was the hottest day of the year. I don't know whose uh, idea that was, but um, well, who knew it was gonna be that hot? It was on Friday. We went on Friday, <laughs> and it was hot. Uh -huh. This is funny. Okay, I dyed my hair on Thursday night. So on Sunday, I mean, I'm sorry, on Friday... It came off. We had, we, I wore a hat. I wore a hat to the festival because I wanted to make sure my didn't get any more wrinkles. Am I? So anyway, it was so sweaty and sweaty. My head, my bangs are so sweaty. And then when we get home, I go, I move my, took the hat off. I move my forehead, move my hair, and my whole forehead is blue. Oh, wow. It took me a while to get that blue off my forehead. I think it was there for a couple of days. <laughs> She had a blue forehead, blue like, forehead. like a boysenberry uh, <laughs> forehead. And uh, yeah, well, we we went and the good thing is, is like, look, we don't really pay to get in. We, oh, yeah. We, we just uh, bought the boysenberry pass. Yeah. Which uh, included six different uh, booths, six different yeah. tastings. And everything that we wanted didn't, it wasn't included in that plan. You had to pay yeah. for it. <laughs> Uh, you know, they have boysenberry booze. They got cider, wine, and, and, and beer. So, of there's, course, there's that's not included in there. You got to pay for that. I know, but there's also a card you can buy. You know how we had the card for the food? Uh-huh. They have actually a card for the beer. So you can have, like, six beers that you can try. Oh, really? That's yeah. inside the little uh, wine barn or whatever Probably, it's called? Probably, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, so you could do that. But anyways... Yeah, everything we wanted, you had to pay for. So you know, we tried what, what whatever was on the 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 list, and uh, we put up a little video of all the stuff that we ate. Yeah. And as you know, you're watching this. I'll flash off some stuff. Did you did you uh, how was that beef jerky you bought? The beef jerky was delicious. Which one did you buy? It was so good that I wanted to bring it here, but it's gone. Oh, shit. <laughs> Which one did you buy? I bought, uh, okay, there was, uh, they're all boysenberry. Yeah. And it's, I should have uh, bought one. I know why I didn't buy one. I bought brisket, uh -huh. beef brisket jerky, and then I bought a sweet and spicy turkey jerky. Oh, because uh, my nephew bought the bacon. He says the bacon one is really good. Mm. Really? Man, now I wish I would have. How much was that jerky pack? I don't remember. They, they're they not cheap. 
Yeah, because jerk. I mean, even in the regular stores, it's not cheap. Okay, my question is: it was it soft? Because sometimes it's so hard, you're like. Chewy. It was so nice and and, and chew or soft. you know soft. Okay, that's why I always don't like to buy it. Because sometimes you buy it and it's like all hard. I want it to be kind of like. No, no, no. It was edible, nice, soft. It was nice kinda? and soft, oh, and man. you didn't have to chew it for like ten hours. Yeah, that's why I don't buy it. And the boysenberry flavor was really, really like strong in it. So Ooh, it wow. was, it was, it was good. It, it's a good. Uh, it was good jerky. <laughs> Oh man, I wish I would have bought some. I guess I can always ask Zane to buy me some. Well, we didn't do anything. You know, yeah. we're going over for, for a minute. We were over there. Nobody wanted to do anything. Nobody wanted to eat anything. And it's like, okay, well, let's go on a ride. No, we're not going to go on a ride. Uh, okay, well, let's go home. No, it's too early to go home. <laughs> Gracie, uh, basically, she just wanted her, her Old West uh, photo. That was the <laughs> only thing she wanted. She didn't even care. I realized at one point, you know what? This is the only reason why we're here, pretty no, much. No, it's not. Nobody really wanted to eat or do nothing. And I'm like, well, why are we here on the hottest day of the year? And it's like, it didn't matter to them because they were inside an air-conditioned uh, <laughs> photo were, studio. You could have been waiting for us. We went I was not going to wait around just staring at you guys. And then the, 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 and then it turns out that their equipment wasn't working. <sighs> yeah, so we were there for like, oh my gosh, They were so there for long. about an hour, hour and a half and they were taking, inside. They and I'm like just sitting there waiting for them. And they kept taking our picture over and over and over and over and over and over. And by the time they finally got it to work, they send the five pictures. They were horrible. And the five worst pictures. <laughs> the five worst pictures. I think the other ones might have been better, but these were the five worst and that's the last she goes, oh, here, just do your own pose. So we said, oh, give us some money bags. And that was the best pose. It was a pose that we did. I really didn't understand uh, the, the whole setup. I, we, well, we um, it changed didn't make it. any sense. Well, if you saw, we had changed it to um, a little, uh, an ottoman, and then uh, it was a suitcase and stuff. So we changed we changed the whole thing. It had like a little coffee table thing instead of having... Whatever that other girl put, I don't know. It was just a disaster. So it our, didn't make any sense. It doesn't you know, matter. Uh, the grandson was dressed as a soldier with a sword, and, with a sword, and then you, you and your daughter were dressed as like maids. We were it's like, what's? No, and then we there's were, bags of money going around. I'm we, like, what kind of weird story is this here? <laughs> we weren't maids. You know what we were? What the hell were you? We're proper women. Whores? We we're proper women. Okay, so you got a soldier with a sword. Yeah, and, and then two proper women. Who yeah. aren't so proper because they're holding bags of money. Well, I know we did we took that out and the other girl put some other props, but that we didn't even pick that picture. It sounds we, like a like we, a we Michael getting, Chimino film or something. We, like some weird. So listen to this. So we ended up so after you know you had said this story doesn't make sense. Oops. I said, Oh, I said this story I told the girl it doesn't make sense. So no. we so we took out all the money bags and then we did a lot of, you know, photos. Smiley, not smiley, whatever. But we were there for so long, I think my eyes are like, oh, right, ready to go to sleep. I had walked around the entire park, pretty much. <laughs> I went shopping and bought all this crap that you see in front of us. And so I, uh, I went on like five rides. <laughs> I stood in line for food and I thought they were going to catch up with me while I was in line. Nope. Paid oh for the God. food. Finished the food. Got back in line to get more for when they showed up, and then they finally showed up after two hours with a uh, crappy photo. It was crappy, and we ended, and, up, and uh, we ended up taking hungry the, stomachs. And we ended up getting the photo that he was like he didn't understand because <laughs> we ended up putting money back in there, like just for a joke. And we ended up picking that picture because that was like the best one. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, horrible went, day at not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I gotta show you, we've been, we've been doing the pictures for a long time, and I actually brought out all the pictures. Let's see them. So, from, from, oh, that's the recent one. So, should I just show them up here? Yeah, while, while, while you're doing that, can you grab me uh, my phone right there? Yeah, yeah. here. Por favor. Thank you. Why is it out? Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh. Somebody didn't uh, do something they were supposed to. Oh, but me? it's okay. Was it me? Yeah, it's okay. Well, I started it. Mm, it's okay. Anyways, continue with your photos there. So anyway, this is the first one we ever we ever took. That's my sister, me, and my daughter. Look how little she was. And then the next one. Oh wait, maybe I got the wrong one. Is that the first one? Oh wait, one? no, I'm sorry. This was the first one. This is the first one with my sister, me, my sister, and my daughter. This is the first one. And actually, this one is made out of the tin. Like they did in the old movies. 
I mean, the old days, how they made pictures. Oh, I forgot the, the name of that photography. Um, yeah. It's an actual um, plate. Basically. Yeah, a plate. So this one is done on a plate. Wow. And then I think this this one, I think it might, it looks like it's done on a plate. But I'm not sure. It might not be. But this is the next one we took. My daughter's a little older. And my sister, us three again. And then we kicked my sister out of the show. <laughs> And now it's just Jessica and I. We don't need my sister. And then the next one, it was my grandson. So it's my daughter, me, and my grandson. And he's like a little robber. Because that's what he wanted to be, a robber. The next generation. And then this one, it's terrible because it's still us three. We're also being robbers again. We must like stealing money. Oh. And this is the last one that we took this week that I told you. And that's this one. Oops. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to take it out of this thing. But anyway, this is the new one. That's the new photo. And it's like, Same um, thing like with, I said, with you know, money. it's got proper women, uh, a little soldier. And describe what's going on there. Descri you describe that. The, well, there's me with some money. And my daughter with some money, and my grandson, he's a soldier with a sword. No, he has a gun this time. And, uh... So it's a soldier. He's a soldier that stole money. This is like the character... This is like the scene... <laughs> this is the scene that got written out of uh, The Power of the Dog. Right there is what that is. <laughs> that's the scene that got deleted. So that's the traditional uh, photos that we've been taking. So that's... That last photo, that's the one you, you spent... Uh, 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 Two and, and a half hours uh, yeah. getting. And it looks like shit. <laughs> Here, go ahead and, and, and do that. Uh, we're handling uh, technical okay. shit as, as we do this show. But anyways, I'm sipping on boysenberry uh, coffee. Uh, that was one of the, the things I purchased while I was waiting for uh, Gracie and, and her daughter to get out of that studio. But here it is. Uh, boysenberry creme brulee uh, coffee. Uh, I had to get it. Uh, I'm a coffee uh, junkie, of course, and uh, I just spilt it all over the floor. But uh, anyways, <laughs> it's really, really good. Do you want to try some, Gracie? Actually, no, you can't because then you'll be up all night. Huh? Can I, I, I can take a sip. Okay, go for it. Go for it. I can sip it and go, and then put it back in. <laughs> They, we should have bought a spittoon over there at, uh, at Knott's. Lipstick. Well, you know what? Place. I'm sorry. Uh-uh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh that's what's funny. She shouldn't have been spilling up. She shouldn't have came out. Um, How's that? You know what? It's really, really good. It's nice you and could smooth. Taste, and you could taste the berry. You could taste the berry. It would berry. be really good with berry cream. Uh, I, was, I was afraid it was going to taste fake, you know, like mm -hmm. a, a flavored coffee. I'm not into flavored coffees, uh, but... Yeah, it's, 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 it's mild, it's a nice, strong, smooth coffee. Do you want it? A... Ah, delicious. Well, I mean, I'll go, oh, you know what, we'll go, you pick one, I pick one. Pick, what are you talking about? Show off the, what we what else we got. Okay. Um, my nephew says he works there, he comes with a bunch of stuff. And this is boysenberry butter. Your nephew says that he works there? No, is I didn't he a say liar? <laughs> is that what you said? I did not say that, I said my <laughs> nephew works there. <laughs> God, I say? I, I, Sorry if I said I that. Know. Oh my gosh. Well, anyway, this butter is so good. I'm put, instead of putting um like regular butter, you just put it on your toast, mm -hmm. and it's it's like butter and raz and boysenberry. It's really good. Really? Yeah. So what else? So they have this too. It's a buttermilk biscuit mix. Uh, this is uh you can basically just what add water to this. Yeah. Real simple. Turn it the other way. And what other way? Uh, the other way is the front. Uh, no, this is the front. I'm showing the front. I don't know oh. what you're talking about. But anyways, yeah, that's delicious. And my nephew made that and we with the butter, remember? The, and it was really, really good. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the, the boysenberry sarsaparilla that I drank maybe like 10 of these while I was waiting for Gracie uh, and her daughter at the, um, <laughs> the photo booth. You know, just killing time. Uh, I, I thought about, you know, killing myself a few times, too, since I was in that 110 degree <laughs> heat while they were inside a AC photo studio getting uh, their ridiculous picture. But anyways, <laughs> here's catch 
ketchup. We have. I haven't tried the ketchup yet. Boysenberry ketchup. Boysenberry ketchup. I had fries the other day and I was going to try it. They had some boysenberry nachos there that we wanted to get that had like a boysenberry salsa or something like that. Yeah. Nope. Had to pay for it. Had to pay for it. Wasn't part of the part of the plan. And uh, what else do we have here? Did we did we cover everything? This nope. is a boysenberry syrup for pancakes or for those biscuits. Yeah. Really? Um, you yeah, put syrup on biscuits. You can put syrup on biscuits. And then that's the. This is the ketchup. And then what? What is this? Oh, barbecue, barbecue sauce. sauce. So we had thought of, you know, we got to get some chicken, right? Oh yeah, we wanted to get some chicken, but it was closed. We're like, we're gonna get some chicken, but we wanted to eat there, and the 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 dine the dine in was closed. You could only get it to go. Yeah. And uh, we were we were actually kind of stuffed because uh, we had two desserts at the end. Yeah. And I said, well, no chicken this time. And then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make not chicken. That's right. I I made a uh, Knott's uh, recipe chicken. Yeah. I, I mean, I changed it up a little bit. Here's a little uh, a bucket <laughs> of our chicken right there. Mm. And uh, there's uh, some video that I've got of, uh, of us making it. I don't know why I said us. But anyways, uh, really what is Knott's chicken? They do a salt brine, okay? Uh -huh. Salt water brine. And then they just toss it in um, in plain plain flour and fry. That's it. Real simple. Okay. They brine it for for a little while. That's good. What I did is I I brined it in a salt brine and also I added truffle salt into the brine. Can you taste any truffle flavor in there? Um. It's not it's not going to be heavy, but I just put a little bit of truffle salt in there. See how. how well, it's went. a little salty. Maybe that's why. Yeah, probably. And uh, I tossed it in half flour, half, half cornstarch. Oh, really? Yeah. So you end up getting this uh, really nice, uh, crispy, crispy uh, outside. Mm. Here's the... Uh, I bet the strips are really good, huh? Yeah. Like so chicken tenders or something? Go ahead and enjoy some chicken here. Wow. That's really good. Mmm. Glenn, did you want to open any of these sauces or try it with the chicken? We could, huh? Mm-hmm. What do you want? How about some boysenberry syrup? Syrup? Yeah. Okay. Syrup on your chicken. I'm gonna I'm just gonna put it on the side of your plate and then you can just dip it. Yeah, go for it. Oh man, this is good. Okay. Uh it's not too salty for me. I for me mm -hmm. perfect. I think maybe if I put the uh, try you, try it maybe a little bit of the is it too salty, you think, for the, like the regular person? I mean, for me, it's perfect. Are you going to dip it in the barbecue? Mm. Nice and crispy. I mean, this... Yeah. Mmm, tastes really good in that syrup. Look at that. Dip it in that syrup. It's really good. Mmm. Oh, wow. And look, it's cooked to perfection, okay? Yeah. Not raw, of course. Cook perfectly. Mmm. That's really good. What the brine does is the brine tenderizes it. Of course, it imparts, you know, the salt flavor on there, but it also brings out the flavor Do you of want the chicken. Okay? Oh, this is not open. I was thinking if this is open, what do you want Funny to Funny is we planned on eating just one bite of this to, con you know, continue with the show, and I think we should eat this whole bucket. Oh, uh, yeah. But do you want to change it, try it with this barbecue sauce? I brought chicken for the whole family. They're going to have to order takeout. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here. Yummy. Here's the barbecue sauce. Okay. I'm not big on barbecue, so I don't know. My leg was delicious. So uh, did you, I liked, I did like it with the syrup. Yeah. And what do you think? Does it taste like nuts? Mm -hmm. It kind of does, right? Mm. That barbecue sauce is really oh, good, too. Oh, man. Yeah, we're trying the barbecue now. Barbecue sauce. That's really good. With our Knott's fried chicken. Mm hmm One more thing that I did that Knott's does not do. What? Is when I took it out of the salt brine. Mm-hmm. I didn't rinse it off or anything. I left it. And I covered it in hot sauce. Okay? Oh, really? I covered it in traditional, you know, like hot wing sauce. And tossed it in that. Now, That's a it doesn't it doesn't make it spicy, right? Uh -uh. 
What it does is it brings out more flavor out of the chicken. Oh. It enhances the chicken flavor. So it doesn't impart that spicy buffalo wing flavor onto the chicken. What it does is just uh, it enhances the flavor of the chicken. That's all it is. This wing is really good. And I think I like the um, syrup better than the barbecue sauce. Check out them wangs. Look at that. Fried chicken, perfect. Not, the sausage, you not, like not very farm style. I'm gonna leave the wing for you because I know you love wings. Did you? What do you think about the um, the sauce? Did you like the? I think I like the syrup better than the barbecue sauce. I know, me too. I'm a thigh guy. This is uh, here's the thigh. And I'm That's a breast. My, and I'm favorite. a breast and wing person. Yeah, Gracie loves the breasts and the wings. I'm a thigh guy. So let me eat this thigh. This chicken is so good. I don't know what to say. Mmm. That's nice crunchy. Mm-hmm. Super crunchy, okay? We didn't we only got Su a super juicy. Mm-hmm. Cooked to perfection. And a breast. And there's a breast, like I said, we were gonna only eat one piece. Yeah. So at knots, <laughs> we went on two rides. First when we got there, Calico Mine. Calico Mine ride. Gotta go. Gotta go on the Calico Mine ride. My, of course, my grandson's like, no, I don't want to go. Yeah, he reminds me of me when I was a kid. Was... Remember, and then you wanted to go on. Um, when we first got there, you and Jessica were gonna go on the Ghost Rider. Yeah, it was a two-hour wait for Ghost Rider. I said, forget it. Well, that's the thing. You know, we didn't pay to get in, so it's like, it's, it's all right. I mean, I look at it as like, well, we should take advantage of this and ride as many rides as possible. But, you know, at one point we were like, well, at least we didn't pay. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, but, um, uh -huh. and then, you were getting something and Glenn, and just, Glenn didn't want to go on the ride. It was very tail. So we got up there and the guy goes, oh, no, it's broken. Well, I needed coffee. Yeah, half an hour wait, wait. So. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, coffee. I had a boysenberry latte, okay? Delicious. It was from Starbucks, the Starbucks that they have inside the, uh, inside Knott's. And, um. I mean, yeah, we had, and the food that we had, we had um, sausages, three um, different sausages with, um, what was that? That rice thing was it? It was a blue boysenberry polenta. Oh no! Not bad. Mm -mm. And then we had um. What did you get? I had a fried chicken donut. It was a boys. Yeah. It was a boysenberry filled donut with fried chicken on top. We got lots of pictures of that. Um, it was all right. And the, the, and the donut was was better than the chicken. You yeah. know. And then we and then we got um. Oh god! Oh, the meatballs. The meatballs are good. Be meatballs with um, I think it was this barbecue sauce on it, on top. Yeah. Mm hmm With that barbecue sauce. Those are really good. Those were good. That's where your daughter had a cider. And mashed potatoes. Right. We had mashed potatoes with that. Yeah, that came with mashed potatoes, not the cider, the the meatballs. Yeah. But anyway. And then we had um, <laughs> and then we had a mud. There was a mudslide drink. Yeah, I didn't then, try that. My sister got, my daughter got that, and then by the end of the day, she's like, I don't really feel good. Well, because you had two different alcohols, knucklehead. That was funny. <laughs> and it was 110 degrees. I know. <laughs> we had to leave. Yeah. It was also opening day. Um, got home in time to, to watch the uh, latter half of the Dodgers. Dodgers won their first. It was nice. I was wearing a Dodger hat over there at, mm -hmm. at Knott's. Expecting to see a lot of Angel fans or something. Nope, a lot of Dodger fans over there. Shout out to all the Dodger fans. Yeah. <clears throat> and shout out to the Dodgers. We will see you soon. And then we had that brisket sandwich. We thought it was on the tag, but it wasn't. That was uh, delicious. It was, that was really good. It was a grilled cheese beef brisket dip. Mm-hmm. And with a boysenberry horseradish sauce. Um... I was surprised. It was really, really good. Yeah. And I guess for a park with a good sandwich, yeah, you're gonna pay like 13 bucks for it. And so then, that's like average price, yeah. you know. And then what else did we get? Do you remember? And then we got really hot, 
And then we, we left. <laughs> oh no, no, we got. Then we had two left, so we got. We just got desserts. Yeah, we were. We didn't want to try the 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 chili. I think we've had the the boysenberry chili before. My sister said it was really good. This is our first time back in three years. Mm -hmm. So, we had that chili last time we went. Did they have wings this time? I didn't see any wings. Okay. But it doesn't matter because we've got wings. Oh yeah. And we're gonna finish them. Take a little break. We'll be right back. Arrgh. Back. Yes. <laughs> Delicious chicken. Oh my gosh, it was so good. We had to stop the show just to grub more. We ate that whole bucket of chicken. I had a br after that wing. I had a breast. So if you see me going like this with my eyes like this, that means I ate too much. Yeah, I forgot to show this. Um, I not is selling these uh, Monopoly games now. Yeah, are it's, we gonna play that called, at Christmas? Yeah, it's called Knott'sopoly, Ghost Town. So it's like a, it's a ghost town uh, theme. Monopoly and, uh, is Yeah, it looked cool. And you know, stake your claim and strike it rich in Walter Knott's Wild West. My nephew said a lady bought like 10 of them. Yeah. And he asked her, what are you gonna do with them? She goes, I'm oh, giving one to my, my two, my grand, to my grandsons, I gave them two, and the rest I'm gonna save because they're gonna be worth a lot of money, and I'm gonna sell them. Supposedly, these are gonna, yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna make us rich. <laughs> We're gonna strike, strike the gold, baby. Oh, you know, maybe those, some of those uh, games have real gold in it, because you know you can search for gold at. The well, box. I mean, I could. Um, I mean, if they don't make any more of these. Well, there's I, no. I, is there a number on those? No, they're. I don't see them numbered. But uh, just the price tag, thirty dollars. Is that how much it is? No, I can't see the price. Yeah, thirty bucks, made in the USA. I like the little pieces. It's a cactus, a cowboy boot, a locomotive, the bo a boysenberry. Oh wow, cowboy hat and a pie. And a boysenberry pie. We should have got pie. I wish they had pie on the list because that, that pie is so good. What do you mean it's on not the so list? Good. You know, to to get something for free. Because remember, we got that apple tart bullshit. It was terrible. We should have got a piece tart. of pie. Apple tart. Apple tart. No, I mean ro boysenberry tart. That, remember we got the little cake and then we got the other item, which is, wasn't very yeah, good. Yeah, uh, you didn't like that? Yeah, it was okay, but... Delicious. I'm not big on biscuits. And you stuff. wanted like a real pie pie. So this, I, I think... This I was a crumble and they called it uh By the way, where's the where's the list? I mean, you, how can do we... Do you want it? No, nah, well... It's right here on the couch. Uh, never mind. Oh, I think okay. it was called boysenberry slice. <laughs> they had a... It, they didn't call it pie. Or it was a boysenberry bar. Yeah, it was a bar. It was like it was a bar. I didn't like it. I mean, it was okay, but it doesn't even say on here. Yeah. Maybe we could have got a piece of pie instead of that. No, we probably had to pay for it. Oh. Okay, you want to know what it was called? What? A pie bar. <laughs> oh, a pie bar. <laughs> and uh, Gracie just keeps dropping stuff. You know, she can't uh, seem to uh, get it together once again. Hey, I, uh, I, but, uh, it's my brush to comb my bangs. Yeah, since, brush those bangs. Because since we don't have a stylist on our show, the, I was we, we two episodes... Well, <laughs> <laughs> I hired one. Um, two episodes, I don't even, I think it was like two episodes ago. Anyway, my bangs are like all open right here and it just looks weirdly weird. And I'm watching the whole show, I'm like, and all I can see is not watching us, I was like watching my... It was the show where we were talking about Will Smith and, you know, Jada Pinkett and her alopecia and stuff. <laughs> Meanwhile, Gracie's looking like she's wearing a wig. <laughs> I have the big old hole I right there on this side. Ball head. So I brought a brush out this time to fix my bangs and I keep on dropping it, so I'm going to move it. Well, I enjoyed the boysenberry pie bar. I thought it was delicious and oh, uh, the mousse was, was good. Uh, I just, you know, you know, whatever. <laughs> pie bar. But uh, our, our chicken was uh, amazing. And I can't get my bank straight. But do you really think that yeah. this, this thing's going to be worth any money? I mean, I think, well, you want to enjoy it. And then it. at one point, you know, Gracie wanted to hold my bag. She's I like, felt let, me, let me hold your, ba hold your bag since we made you, me. since you make, made you stand in the heat for <laughs> one and a half hours while my daughter and I and our grandson <laughs> took a dumb picture. In the uh, AC, I didn't, know like that. You didn't mess it uh, up. She started, uh, you know, walking Wait. around and she dinged it. <laughs> Right she away. dinged it. He thinks I dinged it. You better ding she it. She dinged it. You dinged it. Depreciating the value. <laughs> You're going to sell uh, it. 
So anyways. Especially if you dinged it. If you dinged it. You know what? I listed the 99 cent store. Well, All right. Yeah. 99, 99 cent 99? store. Is it for 99? real or did you buy this shit at Walmart? No. This is the 99 cent store because I made a sh I had to make a special trip because I'm thinking, oh, what should I get? What should I get? So anyway, I thought I had some root beer in the refrigerator and I don't. But the, one of them, these are these little powders that you put in your drinks, like your bottled water, and there's zero calories. Is it soda? No, it's zero sugar, but it has like calories. Like this one's 5%, 5 calories, and this one's 10 calories. But it's zero sugar. Okay, so, so it says, it says, it says dad's old fashioned root beer, zero sugar drink mix. Yeah, and you put them in your bottled water like this. But it's not soda, it's just mm -hmm. flavored water? I guess we're gonna try it and find out. And then the other one I got was uh, Country Time Lemon. Country Time Lime, it's raspberry and lemonade. Country Time Lemon or Country Time Lime, Wh which one is it? Lemon, okay. lemonade. It's raspberry lemonade. lemonade. Okay, so this you could just, it's, it's a... It's a powder you put in your drink, but there's zero calories. But I okay. wanted to have um, a, a really... But what is this? It's this root beer. This is just a root beer drink? This is not a soda, right? Is there carbonation in here? No, it's just water. I mix that powder, I mix this powder, this powdered drink into the water. And this is 99 cents. Right. So let's see what it tastes like. I've never had root beer water. I know, I haven't either. Or root beer juice. I mean... Who has root beer juice? Well, you just made some. Well, I like the way he poured me some. Gosh. He's so gracious and nice. Does it taste like root beer? Yeah, of course it does, but it's water. I know. What's the point of that? Ooh, it tastes really like root beer. It's gross. Uh -oh. It's disgusting. It tastes just like root beer. Yeah, but it's it's water. It's like who it's wants? It's better for you. What do you mean it's better for you? I want carbonation in this. I don't want root beer juice or water. Why not? <laughs> you know what this tastes like? Okay. Like root beer. No, it tastes like a flat soda. Well, yeah. Huh? Well, what's the point? I mean, I don't get it. What's the point of that? <laughs> Here, just try the lemonade and shut the fuck up. <laughs> no. Okay, the... Like, my thing was, does it taste like root beer? And it does. That's what, that's the crazy part. I still don't understand. I can What's never mind. What's there to understand? Never it's like... Nothing. If you want to put a drink in... It's stupid, I guess. That's why... That's why it's at the 99 cent store. Let's try and the this lemonade. this is lemonade, Gene. Yeah, yum. It tastes pretty good for no zero calories, don't you think? Yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect. I just don't get It's this. a dollar and you get five of them inside. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you get like five of these inside your, um, and to make a drink. So look, I have a, a soda machine. I wonder if I can add this to, you know, to that. Oh, maybe. And have, you know, some, you know, my own root, actual root beer soda. Oh yeah, take it with and you and not try it. root beer juice. I mean, I mean, you don't understand what, where I'm coming from with that. Yeah. I mean, it tastes like a flat soda. Why would I want to drink a flat soda? I don't know. <laughs> I brought it to the show to try. That's it. I brought it to the show to try. Nine nine cent store. Nine nine cent store. That was awesome, Gracie. Yeah. Thank you, you for get, bringing you that. Five, you can get. Look at this. You get five lemonades. Look, mm -hmm. that I get. Okay, mm -hmm. that's that's cool. It's a, uh, you know, zero sugar lemonade drink to yeah. add to your water. Um, do you have, uh, do they have lipstick uh, remover for for mugs uh, over there at the 99 cent store? Just get a napkin and wipe it off. What the heck? Jeez, she puts, Don't her, get frustrated. puts her Gwen Stefani uh, lipstick, smears it all over my cup. Isn't that supposed to be like smear proof or something like that? Unless I thought. Really? Well, did you buy that at the 99 cent store? No, or was that? I bought that at Sephora. Oh shit, and it's smearing off on the uh, coffee cups? That That's lives, bullshit. That lipstick's almost like 30 bucks. Oh my god, and it smears? No, it's like 20 something dollars. Get the fuck out of here, not cool, man. 25, 28? I can't remember how much I paid for the lipstick. Yeah, so, uh,. Anyways, did you hear about, um, you know, the Viper Rooms being, um... Knocked down? Knocked down. They're gonna build condos there or something. <laughs> I know, but that, they're gonna still have a Viper Room, I understand. Is that the story? I think that's what I said. Did you see how Downey, how they were, um, the, the old Denny's, that they were gonna, they're rebuilding it to some kind of, um, some chain from Texas or something? There's a Texas chain, I believe it's called Ojos Locos. Oh, Ojos Locos. <laughs> Which means, you know, crazy eyes. 
Oh, and they were, they were upset because of the uniforms. It's basically like the Latino Hooters. Yeah. And it's a chain from, from, uh, from Texas. Uh, and they're bringing it to the lovely city of Downey. And Downey's fighting it. Time and they're time. fighting it. And uh, I don't blame them. <laughs> Um, I mean, uh, if you know, we don't want that shit over there. You know, um, open up a new record store or something. New uh, record store. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think? Are you gonna go to Ojos Locos? No, only if they have Ojos Viejos. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yours will be there. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I haven't good. seen uh, the 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 uniform. Uh, I, yeah. I, I forgot it, what they said it was, but you know. It, it sounds lame. Uh, that's what I what I meant. And uh, they don't need any more lame things in Downey. Well, they're trying to make that whole city, that little area, like. A, they're trying to make it like a hot a hot spot. Like a pro a promenade? Is that what they're called? A promenade? Yeah. What do you mean? That, isn't that usually where they have a bunch of? Um... Well, they already have a couple of those in Downey. They have yeah. like three of them already. Sure where the are. Downey Studio used to be. Oh, that's right, uh, Downey Landing. They're, they're calling it Downey Landing. It's same thing, you know, a place yeah. where you shop and eat and do stuff. Uh, well, that but one is it's mostly it, shopping, and then there's eating on the other, way on the other side. There's a movie theater there. There's a lot of restaurants. Oh yeah, there is and, a movie uh, theater. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, you know what? On the other side. That's uh, right. Yeah, Gracie. Anyways, she doesn't know. But anyway, they're just fan they're they're not really good restaurants. They're just franchise restaurants. It's not like a mom and pop restaurants over there. They're all franchised. Um, are they? Yes. There's a there's a Greek restaurant. There's like a Mediterranean restaurant. I don't there think is? that's I don't think that's it's a franchise. A, no, I I've never seen any other I mean, there's not like an Olive Garden and shit there. No. There's what? Like Lazy Dog Cafe and um Baby Hanas. Ben, is there Benihana's? Benihana's. But there's not a lot of like big franchises. There's one yes. of those barbecue places. There's a Five Guys. Dickies or whatever it is. Dave's or Dicks. Dave Dickies. or Dicks? Dave's Dickies or something like that. Dave's there's Dickies. a Dave's. There's a Dave barbecue and there's a Dickies barbecue. Oh, the Dickies barbecue. So yeah, that place is there. Is that a franchise? Is that a franchise? Come on. We went to the one in uh, Irvine. Okay. I, I didn't know. I've never been to that one. Uh... The, the Mediterranean restaurant, I forgot the name of it. It's a franchise, too, I think. I've never seen any of those uh, Well, we'll anywhere. have to Google the name. But I mean, basically, there's a Chopsticks, I think, um, if I'm not mistaken. But there's a lot, a lot of franchise little restaurants there. Yeah, there's, um, you know, well, whatever. Yeah. It's a... It's a Panda, um, what's it, not Panda Express, that other one? Um, Panera Bread. Panera. A Panera Bread. Where's there a Panera in, in Downey? Yeah, in Downey Landing, there's a Panera. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, well, I, I haven't been there in a minute. Exactly, yeah, I mean, you're more... Yeah, so, um, anyways, how about this? Let's get into some records. <laughs> what a segue. Vinyl moment. <laughs> okay. The, the moment that pisses Gracie off all the Does time. Does not. I because, just didn't uh, listen. Because she's so jealous. <laughs> I am so jealous I don't have any LPs. To no, share. she does. I mean, I do uh, not. What do you mean? You oh, did you go? Speaking of music, did you go to a concert this weekend? Yes, I went to go see Beach House uh, this know. weekend. Uh, Beach House is a um, like a dream pop band. Uh, it was a really cool mellow mellow concert uh, at, you at the that? Greek. Uh, my friend invited me, and I went, <laughs> and. Uh, it was such a cool concert, and the vibe was great. Uh, there was no one there over 18. <laughs> I felt like, dang, there's so many little kids here. Oh, really? And uh, my my friend April, who I went with, saw that I was wearing, you know, a ring, like like a one of those silicone rings on my ring finger. And she's like, what are you doing wearing that? You know, you're going to deter... Uh, the women thinking that you're taken because you're 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 because looks like you're married, and I'm like, are you serious? I go, I'm I'm keeping away the jail bait, <laughs> you know, because there yeah. was just uh, everyone there was just looked so young and. Um, so why would she want to go see this group? Uh, uh, Beach House has been around for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been into them for for a good like ten years, I guess. Okay, I never um, heard of them, so I don't know. I know they have a new album, and uh, I don't know how many kids were there rolling. 
Uh, you mean rolling on the ground? <laughs> is, that, uh, is that what they do in the mosh pit now? Roll around like worms? Uh, no. It's a worm pit or what? You can look that one up, Gracie, but there is a lot of weed. Lots oh. of weed there all over the place. Were they letting you smoke like what you said? Uh, yeah, nobody. Okay. They, people had joints. People had their pens. Lots of vaping going on. And and, what did you do? Um, what did I do? Yeah. I, I had a pen on me. Okay. And but did I, your friend I, get high or anything? Uh, contact high. Oh, okay. She doesn't smoke. Okay. But anyways, what, what was I trying to say? Uh, it was a nice mellow concert, and somebody was there trying to start trouble. I mean, what? yeah, just like yelling, yelling at people, trying to start fights. What, and, they, what were they yelling about? Like what I were couldn't they hear, but it was loud. It was loud. You're know, like, fuck you, and fuck you. And do this. Did they have a pit? Did they have a pit? Or just seats? I was at the Greek theater, so there are seats there. I don't know if you've ever been to the Greek theater. Oh, yeah, there is a, no pit. There's a, it's, it's amphitheater. It's outside. No, I know. I've been there a lot of times. I'm and sorry. We were sitting, uh, you know, in the middle. And uh, anyways, back to this uh, jerk-off. He was there picking fights, pretty much. And I guess he was probably maybe, like, on meth or something. Oh, maybe. You know, because uh, at one point, the... The singer said, you know, I hope everyone's having a, a good time. And he yelled at her. He said some really nasty, like, shit to her. Not like he, it's not like she could hear him yeah. way back there. But everyone else heard, you know, like, he, he told her, fuck you, and all this kind of shit. And everyone was like, where's this coming from? So someone told him to shut up. And then he got up and he said, you don't tell me what to do. Uh, you know, come and hit me and let's fight. You and mean nobody and threw their drinks on him? <sighs> It it's was ridiculous. Well, we expensive. couldn't believe what was going on at this peaceful concert with this peaceful music. And this jerk's over here trying to start fights with everybody. Anyways, it turns out, it turns out that uh, they were in the wrong seats anyways. <laughs> oh, how did you guys find out? I mean, what Well, happened? because they kicked them out. Security came. I said, let me see your ticket. Yeah, and they were in the wrong seats. Oh, gosh. So, anyways, that was... Uh, the concert was still awesome, almost ruined, almost ruined by, uh, by hatred. Uh, like me and my friend said, they were probably on something, you know. Yeah. I'll have to listen to that music. Like one, one, one of the guys who you know, had a joint and he was smoking and I'm like, well, that doesn't work. You know, it's not working or whatever you got in there. Yeah. <laughs> you need to get rid of it. <laughs> Cause yeah, he was there trying to fight and he was some young kid too. And he was saying the usual don't tell me what to do and you know all that stuff yeah. but anyways i have to look them up so we can hear their music back to the vinyl moment uh, let's do this again okay sorry and, Real uh, quick, what was yeah the, what was the name of that group beach right? house okay. uh a, a nice um visual show too you know everybody who was on whatever they were on enjoyed the hell out of that show and uh, anyways what kind of records did i bring uh, I want to shout out uh, a guy that I buy records off of. Uh, I think he, he, his name is Shane. What's up, Shane? Sibylline Records on Instagram. Uh, this guy posts up records all the time. And I like how he does like these little flip videos. And he says, you know, hit me up. And uh, anyways, Gracie doesn't care. Anyways, what did I get from him? Well, I want to um, I want to look at Beach House. You, so you, you want to interrupt like you always do. Is when what you're you done. Wanna do. When you're done, I want to listen. I want to uh, share I, with everybody. I else. missed the boat on, 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 I didn't pull the trigger on this album uh, a few times, and then he finally got it, and I said, you know what, I'll take it. This is uh, the Village Vanguard Sessions, uh, Bill Evans. Uh, this is a 2LP, and I want to show you how these guys package these, you know, because they don't just, you know, send them in, like, and bullshit. You, I, think you've sent, I think you've done that before. Uh, not this one. Oh. I don't have this one. I just got this one. I know, but so I'm saying how one. you wrap and unwrap. No, how they do it. How the people I buy these off of, how they, um, you know, how they package them up. They put a lot of care into it, and I appreciate it. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh. That's all. So you this is, you have more than one Bill, Bill Evans. Um... Of course. I've got a lot of Bill Evans. Yeah. I love Bill Evans. Yeah. I, I gotta listen to Bill Evans. So this is, yeah, this is the Village Vanguard Sessions. Uh, found that. I forgot who, who I was going to buy one once, and it had a, a library sticker on it. And you know this is so, really um, and it's really heavy. It's not. It's it's. You can feel how thick the uh, vinyl, the LP is. Uh huh. It's pretty thick. So yeah, there's uh, there's a Bill Evans, 
And he had this, and I'm like, wow, that looks pretty cool. It's a soundtrack to Citizen Kane. No way. Yeah. Oh, I bet um, you that sounds... Did you, have you heard it already? On uh, RCA. Have you heard it already? I haven't heard it. Oh. It's Bernard Herrmann, of course, who... Um, it. Bernard Herrmann did... Because uh, the music is fantastic in that movie. The music for uh, Psycho and movies like that. His last movie that he scored was Taxi Driver. And, uh, yeah, I really like the music to uh, to this film. And here, look, check out that uh, inner sleeve. It looks like a... Like the newspaper. Wasn't that like in your Citizen favorite? Kane. Remember it was you said that was your favorite film and I got you a poster for that? That movie poster? Uh yeah, it, it still is my favorite film. And uh I, yeah, I still have the poster. And uh let's see, what else does this come with? Yeah, it's a really nice, uh really nice jacket. I watch that movie again. I love that movie. And it's cool because look it he didn't even uh, put this on his uh on his posts, he had it on a flip video. So you watch the video, and when I saw it go by, you know, basically, you know, like that, I was like, what the hell was that? And you know, so I paused it, and I just saw Citizen Kane, Bernard Herrmann. Okay. I was like, I gotta have that. I like how it has the... This rosebud. Yeah, but what is that? It's, it's a bird. No, it's not. It's a bird on a sleigh? It's, it's the sled. Oh, it's yeah, the it's sled. sled. It's the, the sled. sled. Okay. So there it is, the sled, and uh, yeah, soundtrack to uh, Citizen Kane uh, from Sibylline Records. Uh, Blue Oyster Cult, right there. Um, Agents of Fortune. This is the one with uh, Don't Fear the Reaper, of course. Uh, great song, Beyond the Cowbell. It's just a great freaking song. And then he told me, you know, he sends me these records and he lets me know that they're being shipped. Uh -huh. He gives me a tracking number. It's really cool. And then he lets me know, he says, oh, by the way, he's like, the Blue Oyster Cole album, let me know if you still want it because he's basically saying that it was a misprint. No way. Saying that, you know, just side two is actually over here and side one is the other side. Oh, no way. So it actually makes it a little more rare. Yeah. <laughs> and raises it to another penny, I guess. And do, you, do you ever get your albums and let's look them up just to see how much they are? Uh, yeah, all the time. All the time. You, should, you I, know what? You I, should have a, you know what you should do? You should go in the computer and make a list of all the albums, LPs you have. Yeah. And then put to say 2022 and ha how much it was. And then in three years later, go back and see how much hits went up. Yeah, sure. I'll do that right away. And uh, anyways, uh, another <laughs> album that I got from uh, Mr. Sibylline Records right here. The Specials, baby. Special. There it is. Uh, the Specials. This is a band that really influenced uh, the the girl that made that that lipstick that you're wearing. Oh, what's the fun? Yeah. Yeah. Um, their ska band, the specials. This is the one that has uh, a message to you, Rudy. A message to you, Rudy. Stop your messing around. Oh, Gracie. You're making that shit up. Uh, huh? Stop your me And then it also has Concrete Jungle. It's an awesome album. You know what um, I noticed about these? Um... The specials, baby. Look at that. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm noticing right about there. these, um... What are you noticing about these albums? The, uh, when you take them out, mm -hmm. like, the, um, what they're insert is round, and it's not square. Yeah. Um, I have a few square ones, but there's also round ones. Yeah, I didn't know that. Okay, well, now you do. Anyways, uh, he had this, and I had to get it. This is the first time, this is the album where I discovered Miles Davis. This came out in 1987 or 86, I think. Uh, Tutu. And uh, I heard, I saw the video for one of these uh, songs, I believe the song called Splatch. And it blew my mind. I mean, I'm like nine years old. And I'm like, who is that guy with this red trumpet <laughs> and that, you know, flashy. Um, a suit that he had, like a shiny suit with like no shirt underneath and his chest showing and he had that Reverend Al Sharpton kind of hair. Uh, it just blew my mind. I'm like, you know, who is this guy? And then he was on the Arsenio Hall show. 
and I heard his voice, and I've been fascinated with uh, Miles Davis ever since. And that's the first time I heard it was on this album, Two Two, uh, which is still a pretty cool album. Uh, I, you know, yeah, I played the whole thing uh, the other day. It, uh, I remember, it came back to me. You know, like the memories started coming back. And I just wanted it in my collection because this is the first time uh, I heard Miles Davis was in the '80s as a little <laughs> kid. Right there, and then of course I started discovering all his other stuff, including this one. This is the first uh, jazz album I ever bought, and I bought this at a at a Fry's. Okay, Fry's. <laughs> um, it's it's not an original. I was I bought it about ten years ago. I was you know just barely thinking about collecting records. I had like one or two, and thought that this would be a nice one to get. It's uh, round about midnight. Uh, I don't know what kind of reissue this is. This is a mono on premium uh, 180 gram vinyl recorded at uh, RTI. Mono Miles Columbia debut returns to vinyl uh, recorded with Miles first great quintet featuring John Coltrane. I paid $16.99 for it. And I don't know if it's worth anything, but this is the first jazz album LP vinyl that I ever bought and um, it's round midnight oh. miles and that's it um, that's the vinyl moment see they even reproduced the Columbia 6i label there I wish I knew that so while you're doing that putting that away I'm gonna um, play a little bit of that, the uh, a few seconds of that um, who else are you looking at those a few seconds of what? The Beach House. A as, as we uh, sign off, and thank you all for uh, watching our nuttiness and listening. I'm going to... Um, Grace is going to play a little Beach House, and then we're probably going to get our uh, video flagged for playing uh, other people's music. Um, no, I'm going to do a few seconds of it. Jeez. Anyways, uh, thanks, uh, thanks everyone for watching. Are they from... Uh, okay, this must be them. They're from Maryland, actually. They're from... Uh, yeah, from Baltimore, Maryland. And they've been around oh, for, you know, for a you minute. Know well and uh, Gracie's never going to be able to do this. No, because you know what? And we got to go, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, join us next time. Because YouTube puts commercials on before you get to hear it. I'm Glenn the Baker. And I'm Gracie the female comedian that's not on that See list. See you next time. What does it say? Oh, there it goes. Yes. Five seconds. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to hit play. Is everything on, Glenn? I forgot to hit play on your brain. <laughs>